Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, before we do this mission, let's build some more buildings. Why not? Can we even build any buildings? Can we get like, yeah, plus two respite points? Actually, I think we can. We trade away deeds for crests. The ratio is pretty bad, but if we trade away everything, we can get enough crests to build one building. Actually, we don't even have to trade away everything. We need uh, 300, so that means we need 136. There we go. And we will build another building. Two respite points if you have an abomination, Hellion or Leper. There we go, because we're gonna have a Hellion out on this mission. Darkest Dungeon, we are the flame. The creature's power waxes terrible. Recover the protective relics from the long abandoned base camp, but beware the shuffling horror. We get three Talisman of the Flames, a sacred scroll, and money. If, if a darkest dungeon quest is abandoned, not all heroes are guaranteed to survive. Someone must sacrifice himself to hold off the fiends during retreat. Let's do it. There's camp, so that's why I did the extra plus one. We're gonna take everything. Because why not? Well, we don't need keys, but holy water, sure, laudanum, torches. We're gonna take everything, because we're probably gonna need everything. So I feel like this is this is sane and sensible. All of the provisions. I'll uh, make them all neat and ordered. Two stacks of bandages, two stacks of anti-venom, two stacks of medicinal herbs, two stacks of holy water, and... We'll embark. We'll see if we can't survive our first excursion into the darkest dungeon. Let's make sure we have everyone set up. I think we do. I think we do. I'm scared, obviously. <laughs> I don't want anybody to die, but we'll do it. We'll do it. FYI, there's no ambush in the Darkest Dungeon missions. 100% confirmed this time. Mm, only if you want to bet a little bit more for Dacula. Once again, the stars are right. And the manor sits at the very epicenter of cosmic unrest. Cultists rally to their twisted idols. And great gongs sound in anticipation of the coming sacrifices. Far below... Life-laden shadows pulse to the unrelenting rhythm of a beating heart. Oh, there's no... no other thing, that's it. Well, here we are. Long hallway. The blood of the fallen flows ever downward along these tightened spires. The creature fattens itself on your failures. Don't worry, we're fine. <laughs> Five bucks, there's no, uh... No ambush. Mm, that's not enough for me to want to, to risk it. Rapturous cultists. I remember these guys. They, uh, they heal, right? You can farm stress relief off of these guys, I think. We're not, because we are just here to kill them as quickly as possible. I think we gotta, we, we do a good job at killing. Yeah, you just heal. That's a good opening. <laughs> dun, dun, da, dun. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh, I remember. Oh, I remember. I'm not confident in the least. Cultist priest, what are you? Ideally, I would, just, I would just like to kill him before he can do anything. And honestly, I don't even think we we do the duelist advance. I think we just go for, straight for damage. He's not likely to bleed, but... Oh, he dodged! But I think we stunned him. Oh, he stunned him! I don't even want to know what this guy does. Kill him. Kill him! Heck yeah. I know that they're introducing these enemies to be like, Learn what they do! Nah. Ascended Brawler. They still have Stumbling Scratch. 
No other known skills. Very interesting. Do we go for them or do we go for the healer? I think we go for them first. Because there's a chance we can kill him pretty easily. We have high speed. Well, not that high. Ooh, Ren for the new god. That looks nasty. <laughs> Can't hit worth crap, though. Oh, neither can we. Flesh wall. It's a guard. You know, this is actually a good opportunity, I think. Well, let's let's do the stun. But it could have been a good opportunity for a double stun with a Hellion. It might actually still be. That's fine, we got one. And honestly, yeah, with this guy, we can probably just kill him in, in one hit. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And honestly, like, why not just toss out another lunge? We don't need the Hellion to be in the front position. Lunge could do 13 to 25, pick is 8 to 15. I think we should just go for the lunge. Try to kill him as quickly as possible. Makes sense to me. Someone's gonna get fingered before this is over. <laughs> I do rem yeah, I do remember that someone, because I, th I think I've done this these missions before. I have completed one campaign of Darkest Dungeon, I remember. But I do remember that someone has an attack called Finger of Death. Maybe it's one of these guys. Flesh to flesh, that's the heal. We can still kill him with anyone. Someone will get fingered. You think Cheese is gonna die. You know, or you could just say, I think everyone's gonna live. Because I think everyone's gonna live. Your money's on Mud gonna live. <laughs> Except for him, he's not gonna live. But so far, this has gone very well. I don't know how stress is gonna be handled later. I guess we're just gonna do stress relief when we camp. We do have Gallo's Humor. Yep. We'll try. You know? We're here. We can't leave without someone staying behind and dying, so we just gotta go for it. Ascended Witch, Ascended Brawler. We should probably go for the back line first. Again, we're, we're actually pretty bad at dealing with stress. 9 to 16, could kill. 10 to 17, could kill. Chance of hitting is pretty low. I'm gonna go for the Duelist Advance. It puts out good damage and... Nah, I was gonna say, if we move first, maybe we can do something. Oh, they look horrible. If we move first, maybe we can do something about it, but we, we can't. We can. Fates Reveal, it's a mark and good stress. Mm, maybe we should have brought a Jester. I can't bring a Jester to every mission, though. You know, at some point I gotta say, we just gotta take a squad that doesn't have a stress healer, I think. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. That's a good crit repost. So that's gonna be my next target. That's a nasty bleed, but we have plenty of bandages. 9 to 16, with the bleed, should get a kill, if it bleeds. Could also go for the witch in the back, but let's kill one first. You're dead. Then we'll focus down the witch, which we can do with a uh, thrown dagger. We don't get bonuses to damage, but we do get bonuses to accuracy. Good dodge. If you're gonna bleed her, bleed her twice, you know. Dazzling Light will not work, but I think a Judgment Iron Swan would. Missed. That's fine. Iron Swan doesn't get the kill, but we move first on the next turn, ideally. We have a lot of good speed on our units. Oh, damn. 10 stress resisted the move. So stress is already getting kind of high. 69% chance of hitting, 74... doesn't even hit. Could lunge, but I don't want to move the Hellion that far back. Ren for the new god, so we will do a stun into healing, I think, at this point. 
Not with the Vestal. We'll do it with the Hellion instead. You're gonna have a heart attack and die? Hopefully not. <laughs> we'll see. Damn. Resisted the bleed, unfortunately. Uh, just do a buff. Let's get one more heal out. It can be a targeted heal. Okay, I mean, that was pretty good. Should have also made it, maybe used a torch in that fight. I did kind of forget about that. So too weird shovel. Resistance. More scouting. This is a weird layout. I also have no idea when to camp. Hunger, got plenty of food. Yeah, Riveter's got my back. I bet no one dies as well. I bet we're gonna do this just perfectly. As the light you know what, I should have probably bought or brought along a um, purpose is made clear. trinket that in imp increased scouting or increased the chance of an enemy being uh, surprised. Would have been nice. We'll go for the middle one. Open with the lunge. Open with the duelist advance. Activate repost. Get a ki get a kill. Getting one kill in a turn, that's pretty good. And we'll try to go for a stun. We missed, that's fine. The finger! Dude, the crit! It's so good! Plus two speed for two rounds. Ah, oh, the finger is stress. That's annoying, actually. Very annoying. Get to 15. I'm gonna do the lunge, it's a good chance of a kill. Not quite, but one HP. Now we're... What can you do from the back? You can if it bleeds a corpse. <laughs> I still think that was decent, but I guess I should have just used pistol shot, because then we could have done a, uh, a stun. Death lash, that's also stress. In Radiance! In Radiance! Victory. Let's get, we got a free turn. I want to get this guy on a, bl on a bleed timer of death. Does that improve your speed? It does. You can kill him on the next turn in that case. The finger! I guess it's not finger of death, it's just finger. Hyperius! Thank you for the follow. Welcome and hello and how are you doing? Precision and crit? Power. The tentacles under the coat remind you of Leela's mom from Futurama. You're right! Wary. Right, it does. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Honestly, I might want to camp now, but I don't imagine that this is going to be the end of the mission. I think it's going to go on for a while longer. I do want to camp for stress relief and buffs, but we should probably just try to do it as late as possible. But we're going to get stressed out on the uh, on the vestal if we wait for too long. And we got to like these enemies do a lot of stress. We got to find a way of dealing with them. That helps! A lot! Fates revealed. They're focusing that Vestal, which sucks. 22 stress. This would be a perfect mission for her to get a, uh, a Virtue, but after getting three Virtues on the last mission, I, I doubt we're gonna get that lucky. For some reason, I thought that that was gonna have a chance of bleeding. Obviously not. We'll try to toss out a stun. It failed. That didn't bleed, so it's not gonna kill, but I, I hope that the Grave Robber has enough speed that they can go first. Or this guy, this guy can do it too. Seventy-four percent chance, I'll do it. Hey, World Ender, hello. Welcome. 
How's it going so far? It's going pretty well. It's going okay. I'm gonna kill this guy first. We need to because of the stress. I mean, this guy does a lot of bleeding, but we can hopefully deal with that. We're just, you know, doing the darkest dungeon mission. <laughs> Some end game stuff. Do we up? Double resist! That is extremely unfortunate. I hope we can kill. Bleed? Yeah, okay, good. Even if we leave the brawler alive, at least we got a kill on him. Run for the new god. Don't bleed. Yo, I'm running out of bandages. There's the stun. Compassion is a rarity. Stress is actually looking good on everyone except the Vestal, but I think I still will... You can just heal up. I think I still will do a camp for stress relief, because I really do not want the Vestal to get afflicted. We can focus stress down on her, and we can eat up for stress relief on everyone, basically, but I, I think that's what we need to do, honestly. Swap out a skill for Battle Cry so she can cure her own bleed. Possible. Possible. I, I want her to do damage, though, you know? I'll use the bandages. But I just want the Hellion to do damage. And she's doing a lot of damage. So yeah, um, we're actually gonna camp. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. I also like that we can put out Bandit Sense. Sanctuary is unimportant right now. And then we can focus entirely on Stress Relief. And we do have good Stress Relief skills, so encourage, encourage, encourage. We have four respite points remaining. Again, I have to remember that because of the fact that we have the... the, uh, the, the, the building upgrade. We could buff crit, damage, mm, unparalleled finesse. Unparalleled finesse, I think, is the most important one. Good. The match is struck. A blazing star now we have some combat born. buffs and low stress. I think that's a, a viable use of camping. Endgame spoilers, Verity dies. <laughs> I don't know what the middle room is going to be, but I'm just going to go I'll, like as far to the right as possible. This seems like it's pushing me to the right. And I imagine this is also going to go to the right. Now that might be loot in the middle. These missions that have um, predetermined layouts like this, because this is a, a mission with a predetermined layout. They tend to have optional loot areas. I mean, we saw that on the last mission with the Countess. I had to leave because I had two people die. Malignant growth. But in theory, in theory, we could have kept exploring and then maybe done a little bit of extra looting. One HP, you son of a gun. You just, you're, you're getting stressed out for no reason and they're attacking the Vestal again with the stress attack. You asshole. <laughs> Look at that dude dancing in the back. He's a dancer. Impressive. At least you got six stress back, but... I don't know, the stress is uh, getting to be kind of high on the Vestal. We're not... We're not being hurt. I'm tempted to j just, like, dump... Junia's head for now, and then we'll equip it later. I'm gonna go for the stun. Because I need to remove that guard. Because, yeah, like, weirdly enough, we're not actually getting... hit that much. We're getting stress. That's the important thing that we need to find a way of dealing with. We're also getting bled like a madman. Um... Two attacks and a stun coming in. I'm gonna use Toxin Trickery here. 
Toxin trickery. I don't want to do a lunge to get a kill, so let's just do a delay because we can do a stun. I'm gonna do a yop. It debuffs her further, but oh my god, and, and they resisted it as well. I'm gonna try. Good. Then we'll go for the kill. Well struck. Good crit. <laughs> Repose is gonna wear off. We need to do the lunge. And it's a kill. So we didn't need to do the stun, but I'm still glad we put it out there. Flesh to flesh, that's a heal. It's basically meaningless. I do want to kill this guy up front though first, I think, because he is going to be annoying with his bleed attack. I don't know, maybe I should put the anti-bleed on the Hellion, just so that we don't have to use resources. But I don't know. You're never gonna bleed. Can't lunge. He healed himself for 12. By biting himself, that's weird. 17 to 30, 12, yeah. Definitely go for the 17 to 30. And honestly, looking pretty good. He's just gonna be in the back healing. You know what? Try to get a crit. Wacky inflatable arms, man. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Good. These yeah, screw left and down. Let's just keep going to the right. Can be beaten. And... Now I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the head on. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I just realized something. I'm gonna change up. What I'm gonna do, I think, need the repost is I'm actually gonna remove the head in hallways I'll put the head equipped for the room combat just in case we do end up fighting a boss or something this game is super creepy it is you're not wrong we went in the wrong order the hellion can't do anything fuck they can if it bleeds they'll be fine because okay I understand that because the High women went first. It pushed the Hellion back. So if the Highwayman moves before the Grave Robber, the Highwayman, yeah, the stress is getting up there. The Highwayman needs to be able to do um, like an open vein or something else. I understand that, I understand. We'll have to change things up a little bit. We're gonna go for the witch or the priest. I think we should go for the witch. Hmm, we can't hit him with the highwayman because of the aforementioned problems that we had, but the Hellion can with it if it bleeds, so we'll go for you. That's fine, push him back. Still good damage. Also good damage. A hit is a kill. A hit would have to stun to kill. A hit is a kill. We're actually doing pretty well on killing things. Hey, World Ender! Thank you for the resub for six months. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. Goodbye! This game is super creepy. Super creepy, but that's what makes it really good. A decisive pummeling. Good. Stress relief on. The Vestal. All right, so starting in the. This expedition at least promises success. You know what? I don't think that's. I don't think they're they're gonna put the bosses early. F. <laughs> oh, of course I had to open my big fat mouth, huh? Nice. Still, should be fine. We need to get the priest in the back, I think. This guy doesn't have that much HP, though. Should we just focus him down? He's got two actions per turn. You know, we can Iron Swan. But we need to move so that we can get the repose stuff. Okay, so we're gonna lunge. 
Next turn we can do all backline attacks, but I want to kill the guy in the back first, I think. It is a shambling horror, although this is a shuffling horror. Subtly different. Might take three attacks, but this guy, he's gonna live for quite a while. Lacerate, eight damage, and a bleed. It's okay, you know what? Pop the holy waters. Beyond one's limits! And now we're gonna have really bad heals for the remainder of this because I dropped the head before we entered the room. I should have gone with my advice! My original thoughts and feelings on the matter. I didn't. Shuffle does not matter at all. We need to get the... <sighs> it does matter, actually. I, I need to get the Iron Swan with the Hellion. That's not gonna kill. Also, I forgot to use Holy Waters. Hey, Holy Water. Holy Water. A singular strike. Now, he might just resummon the minion. I hope he doesn't. Echoing Disassembly. So that's just stress. I understand. He summons more enemies. Okay. We should just go for him. I haven't seen this guy yet either. Defensive growth, that seems like it's gonna be really annoying. Maybe we should have left the guy in the back alive. I don't know. 33, nine to 16, six to 11. Also, let's do this. Let's go for the bleed. It's good damage if it lands. Uh, we actually, by the way, we could Move the Hellion back and she can focus entirely on if it bleeding the shuffling horror. Horror? Or we could just do damage. 12. Grand Guard, yeah. I messed up. I messed up. We should not have had this guy spawn in. Also, hey, use holy waters. It's not that bad though, like we're only taking damage very slowly. Seven to 11, seven to 13. I mean, even though it's gonna hit the Grand Guard, we'll go for it. Bolster. Yeah, I did this wrong. We definitely should not have sp let him spawn in this defensive growth. Well, now I know, but unfortunately it's too late. Could try to go for a stun. It's not gonna stun him, but it could stun this guy up front. I think we just go for the kill. So now, I, I don't know if he's gonna constantly summon the same enemy over and over again. I didn't even, you know, actually know if he was gonna be able to summon anything, but he did. To a killing blow. Also, hey, holy waters. Put him around. But, you know, we just have to push through. Let's get a Vestal into a position where they can function. I mean, we're doing pretty good damage. He's getting there, he's almost dead. The light! The light! The promise of safety. Thank you, boss man. Echoing disassembly, so that is another summon. It's another Grand Guard. I mean, I think we just want to keep hitting the boss. Resisted the bleed that time. Yeah, I mean, I think we I think we're gonna get him. We're gonna run out of holy waters in a minute, but. <laughs> He's only got 23 HP. I think we're gonna get him. I think we're gonna be fine. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. 11. Oh, I was really hoping we'd be able to get him before the guard. We just have to go through the cycle one more time. And we still have people with, you know, mostly full health. Heal. Healing's the most important thing right now. Stress on the Vestal's getting up there, but we're almost, we're almost done, we're almost good. 
keep lunging. It's his best attack. Bolster, so that's accuracy and crit. Four rounds. One more attack will kill this thing. No, I was looking at the wrong H HP bar. Why does he have four health? Because of the repose. He's probably gonna die anyways. He's gonna die on any attack that's gonna hit the uh, highwayman that lands. Get the kill. <laughs> it's the most important thing. We don't need healing. Alright, so we will live. Yeah, because that didn't crit. We will live. We'll make it through this fight. We'll live to fight another day. And all that. Let's uh, continue adventuring for a second. See what see what happens. Nothing. That's it. <laughs> yeah, basically full health, basically no stress. Iron Man did a really good job here. So I guess we, if we wanted to, we could keep exploring. Like, what's with the room in the middle? Should we go take a look? I don't. I, by the way, put freaking head on. That was so dumb of me. I don't know if we're gonna find anything, but you know, in case there's like a a trinket or something in the middle room, we'll go take a look and then we'll leave. Just no one die. Honestly, if someone dies, someone dies. Okay, there is a, like a trinket here. Can't hit the flesh wall, so we're gonna hit the priest. Wonderful crit. The blood quickens. Wonderful kill. Friend for the new god. If you're gonna hit someone, hit him. Do we have any more bandages? Yeah, we got one. We also have a couple of holy waters which we should use. Um, I'm gonna save it for these other units though. Stress does not matter. The only thing that matters right now is HP. Flush wall on the ascended witch means we're probably not gonna be able to kill her at all for a while. Fates reveal. Cheese Baron's fine. He doesn't care. Let's kill you. Also, hey, holy water, you idiot. <laughs> it's right there in front of you. Holy water. We'll pop another one on the Hellion because they're uh, they're low. And we'll we'll get whatever's in the bag and then we'll leave. It's going to hit him, but that's still really good damage. Good dodge. If we can get out of this without being afflicted, that would be wonderful. Now, only the witch is left. And he didn't leave a corpse. It's actually perfect. Gives us an opportunity to stun. I'm happy that you survived, but I'm sad you didn't get to feel the full extent of the finger. <laughs> what I miss about the finger? Honestly, like, after dealing with the Crimson Court mission, this one was like a, a cakewalk. No one got crit down to zero HP instantly, or exploded randomly. Success so clearly in view. Or is Money. it merely a trick of the light? Get out of here. I guess we already have all of the Ancestor Trinkets, so there's no point exploring anymore. Which is good to know about. Shaka! Yo, Slugger is something we're gonna lock in immediately on that Hellion. Slugger is fantastic. You have merely glimpsed the edge of the abyss. Free building. But it is enough to trigger the cycle of revelation. Oh no, free now, building. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, you what? Begin to see things as they truly Sorry, he, he's talking and he's giving us some, some very important dialogue up there at the top. Historically, seasonal laborers have been loath to make the journey along the old road, but harsh economic conditions have driven them to desperation. They're so desperate, in fact, they're going to work for us, by the way. Yeah, this is what that was. Now you can see the way it is for us. Look at, look at, look at that guy. Look at K-Lot. You fine? You okay there, dude? 
He's fine. He's just he's just a little hungry, is all. <laughs> We're gonna start seeing some weird things happen, I suppose. Also, the, the hold on. The moon is is encroaching over the sun. I don't like that. Anyway, building upgrade. We've never upgraded the tavern, who cares? This is not fully upgraded, but we have to spend it on medical devices. Let's go to the abbey and just do like penance hall. Good enough. It's about to get real spooky. Look at Jelly Lorem! In the roster on the right! He is a horrible monstrosity of a man. You okay, Jelly Lorem? He's fine. He's he's hungry. I'm gonna keep using that joke because I think it's a good joke. <laughs> Alright. The next mission! Long! Darkest Dungeon. I've seen enough of the Darkest Dungeon to last a lifetime. No, no, no. <laughs> Once was enough. Now, all these units that went out on the Darkest Dungeon, they have this... Where is it? It's not here. No, it's here. They have this torch, which means that they will not now no longer do another Darkest Dungeon mission ever again. They are done. They're finished. Oh, and stress is zero, which is actually lovely. So, it's also only week 75. We have plenty of time. So we can either go back to the Darkest Dungeon... Okay, fine, get out of here then. Activate three Iron Crowns. It's a long mission, we might want to focus on a little bit more stress relief now. Honestly, maybe a Flagellant, but the enemies in the last mission were very, very resistant to stress, so a Flagellant is probably not a good option for us. Uh, instead, we might want to consider... Well, if, if Bleeding's not that good, do we even want a Houndmaster? I don't know. I'd really like to bring along a, a Hellion, but we only have the one. Get out of here. The enemies were stunnable. I think they were blightable. I wasn't paying attention to the blight resist, though, but an abomination could work. They can hit pretty reliably. I think we would like a man at arms. Because we only have three of the... I gotta actually find him. We only have three of these, Talisman of the Flames. We need, I think, the Man at Arms to guard a unit, and then he can just activate Retribution and then just constantly, constantly alternate guard, Retribution, guard, Retribution. And that's a pretty good use of his time, but we need to be very careful about that Revelation attack. I also like the Abomination here because they do have a personal stress heal. These units will also give a massive XP bonus to anyone they go out on a party with. Really? It's very handy. Mm hmm. By the way, in case anyone's wondering, <laughs> The visual effects that are happening, they're just, that's all they are. It doesn't matter, it's just visual garbage. It's not garbage, it's just like, the, the ancestor is like, Now that you've seen the horror that exists within the, the darkest dungeon, you now get to see the things that I see. I should have paid more attention to the, the dialogue that was happening at the top of the screen. I was talking over it. But... Yeah, I think that's what we want. I think we want a... I mean, we do have several Vestals. We could take one on this mission. We want a Man-at-Arms. And then in the third position slot, we could take a... You know, we could take a Crusader. The Crusader can open up with a Holy Lance. Don't we have a really good Crusader? Natural Swing on Guard. Oh, hell yeah. So we open up with the Lance. The Abomination can do a little bit of DOT, especially against those like ten those things that guard. They seem to have high bleed resist, but not that high of blight resist. So I think that this could be a good option for us here. The Man at Arms can defend Retribution. And actually, you know what? Inspiring Cry. We do have a stress relief on this mission. I like this. I like this. Okay, yeah, I think this is what we're going to do for the Darkest Dungeon. 
So, you definitely need one. You need one. You need one. We'll have him guard the Vestal in the back, and the Vestal in the back can do an entirely heal-oriented set of trinkets, which is usually what we do on the uh, on the Vestal anyways. Where is it? There it is. We have two of them. <laughs> Abomination can probably have the padlock of better stunning and blighting. Crusader, he can have anything that improves his damage, and the Man at Arms can also have, like, the Ancestor's Pen for the crit and the damage. So you're gonna have that, and you are going to have the damage head. Now, I could take along something like the Ring for better accuracy and protection, and admittedly, I'm very tempted to do that. Actually, I'm kind of tempted to do that on the Man at Arms. No, I, I think I prefer to have him have the, the damage. We'll have the Crusader with Accuracy Protection Ring on. Accuracy is important, and I do kind of neglect that, usually. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. What about the candle? I do like plus speed. And plus damage, and plus dodge. <sighs> Your speed is three, ugh. It's not that much speed. You know what, you have natural swing. You don't need that. Take the candle, which also improves your damage. Okay, I, I like this, I like this. This is fine. Yeah. So he's gonna do the guarding. He's just gonna do attacking. He's just gonna do attacking. Okay. I think we should give it a shot. Get out of here. I think we should give it a shot. I think we can make this work. Let's do judgment. Good. Stun is fine. Smite's fine. Inspire and cry, fine. Your abilities are fine. Your abilities are also fine. Do we need to do any sort of like... Relief on anyone? No. Oh, something else I just noticed. Because these units will now no longer do the Darkest Dungeon mission, they don't count for roster either. I could just take four more people. We're only at 24 of 28 because it's minus four. They don't count. Cool, that's that's a neat little thing I did not know. Okay, so for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next mission in the Darkest of Dungeons.